Okay, let's take a look at how to create your Riot account. Simply go to riotsportsmarketing.com and click on free trial and fill in the basic information that uh, asked for in the form here. You'll be taking the, the first of five steps to set up your account. Uh, if you already have a Facebook page, just click on connect with Facebook and it's going to pull up a list of your Facebook pages and you're just going to select your page and click update settings. If you don't have a Facebook page, simply click the link under here to create your own Facebook page. Next is Twitter. Simply click the connect with Twitter button. It's going to prompt you to, to connect with your Twitter account. Just click authorize app. You have to log into Twitter if you're not already logged in or if you don't have a Twitter account, simply click don't have a Twitter account here and it will take you straight to Twitter's account creation page. Step three prompts you to connect with MailChimp, which is the email newsletter service that we use. So simply watch this 53 second long video. Really important that you watch that video. All you're going to do is connect with MailChimp, click to create your account, and create a MailChimp account. Once you've created your MailChimp account, just go up to account, scroll down to account keys, Click grant access to a MailChimp user and enter email at riotsportsmarketing.com and click send. It'll take about 48 hours for your MailChimp settings to take effect. So just keep an eye out for an email from us that notifies you on the next step that you have to take to, to complete activating that account. When you're done with MailChimp, click next. Enter the basic information that it's asking you for here, your homepage URL, select your sport, your state, and then upload your logo. It's important that you upload your logo in this step because we take that logo and insert it into your email newsletter. Finally, step five is your payment step. Simply enter your credit card here. You're not gonna get charged for the first 30 days. You can cancel any time during that first 30 days and you won't be charged. You can pay $24.95 a month or you can select the, to pay annually and you actually save a month. Once you're done with your payment step, you have two options. You can either create a post, create your first post, or you can watch a brief tutorial. Let's go to create a post. Now, if I want to create a post, I simply type my content here, add your title at the top, put your content in the lower box. If you have a hyperlink that you want to add, you can add the hyperlink directly in, or, or you can choose to hyperlink the text itself. You can do the same with the video or any other website that you want to link to. If you want to add an image, click add image and select an image from your computer. Now I have an option to send this content to Facebook, Twitter, my email newsletter that goes out automatically every Tuesday morning with all the content that I post through my Riot account uh, and my news page which is your blog that you can link to your existing website or you can use as a standalone website. So I can make a choice of uh, sending it to all four of those channels or just to Facebook and Twitter. If I additionally want to send this out as a text message alert, I'll, I'll choose that option and type my text message alert down at the bottom here. You'll see as I type, the number of characters left in my text message gets lower because I have 140 characters available to me. When I'm done typing my content, I click send. If I've selected the text message alert feature, it's going to ask me what group I want to send that out to, and then I click send, and the content goes. Now let's take a look at where that content went. First, let's look at my news page or the blog that's automatically created in Riot. And I can just go up to account, down to news page, and I'll look at my news page, and you'll see that that content posted instantly. And if I click on the link, you'll see the image came through, the content that I typed, as well as the link to register for the event that I was talking about in this post. Now I can customize this news page with colors, the custom colors for my team or my, my organization. I can add my logo. My logo has already been actually taken from the setup process, added here. It's linked to my website. If I have an existing website already, that logo is already linked to my website. And I'll show you how that works. What I've done on my website is I've added a link in the top that says news so that any time someone lands on my existing website, they click on news and it brings them to my blog or my news page. So I never have to go in to update, to log, I never have to go in and log in to my website to actually update it. I just send an email or make that post from Riot and the content automatically appears there. So now let's take a look at Facebook and Twitter and see how that content posted over there. You can see my Facebook page, 
the Casino Night content posted through. There's a link back to my blog from my Facebook page. And you can even read some of the, the content here. And this will entice people to click on it, drive them back to my website where they'll see my other content. They can like us on Facebook. They can follow us on Twitter. They can click to our homepage. They can subscribe to our newsletter, automatic weekly email newsletter. It's going to take this content once a week insert it into a newsletter and send it out to my email list. If there's no content that week, no newsletter goes out. You'll see below the newsletter sign up form is the SMS or text message alert sign up form where your fans can automatically sign themselves up to get your text message alerts when you choose to send them. Now let's take a look at Twitter. You can see that the content posted on Twitter and uh, you really only just have about the first sentence or not even full sentence because Twitter doesn't allow all the characters to fit obviously. So it abbreviates the content and adds a link that will drive traffic again back to my website. So with one action I was able to update five different channels of communication. Facebook, Twitter, my email newsletter that's going to go out once a week, my website, and send a text message alert all with one action. Now if I don't want to actually log in to make this post, I can send an email to a customized email address that Riot provides to you so you can send your content from Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, Hotmail, any other web service or any other email service that you use. You do it the exact same way. Type in your title, add your content, attach an image if you choose and click send and your content is going to go out to the four channels of communication listed here. This is called your ultimate email address and you can find that in your right gear under your account settings. You have your ultimate email address and your quick news email address. Your quick news email address is just going to go out to Facebook and Twitter. So you can use those two email addresses to never have to log in to Riot or anywhere else. You simply send your content through that email address and our service does the rest for you. Now you can also see the share with fans feature below. We're going to see sport relevant news showing up in this feed and you can select to share it on Facebook, Twitter, your email newsletter in your blog or just on to Facebook and Twitter. Posting content from here periodically keeps your team and your organization top of mind with your fans and it better educates and engages them into the larger conversation going on in the sport. Now from the recent post link at the top, you can come down and uh, delete or edit posts that you've made. So if, you've, uh, if you have a typo or put in a wrong date or anything like that, you can go in here and edit that and update that. Uh, you can click on metrics and you can see uh, the size of your fan base, how many people are following you on, on Twitter or like you on Facebook, subscribe to your email newsletter, subscribe to your text message alerts. And uh, here you're going to actually, whenever the, your first email newsletter goes out, you're going to see the number of people who have opened your email newsletter, clicked on it, and or unsubscribed on your, from your newsletter. If you go over to account, let's go down to social network settings. This is where you can manage all of your network social network settings. You can connect to a different Facebook page. You can remove your Twitter connection. You can edit or manage your, your email newsletter through clicking the manage link next to MailChimp. You can edit your news page. You can change what your news page looks like, the colors, the fonts, the logo. Uh, for your text messages, you can um, add or delete groups of people, whether it's your board members, your parents, your athletes, or your fans. You can add or delete contacts and you can manage the number of credits or how much money you're spending on your text message alert service. If you have further questions, you can simply go up to help and click on getting started. You can see these videos and you can see that most of them are around one minute. They give you a succinct description of how to use your Riot account. If you need further help, you can go to help and click down here for help and, uh, and, and read the different uh, help articles on the different features using Riot. Another cool feature of Riot is if you go up to account and down to resources, you have a lot of downloadable content here, which is actually helpful resources on maybe you want to get an intern to help you with this. Uh, you want to learn how to get sponsors for your team and leverage your social media channels to actually raise more money for your program. Uh, a helpful timeline template to really help coaches operate more efficient, efficiently and delegate tasks in their program. So this is constantly being updated. There's tons of great resources up here in the resource gallery. Last but not least is your account settings. You can come up here into your account settings and, and uh, edit your basic settings there. We're constantly adding and updating our features here on Riot. So check it out, create your account, try it out free, and develop your program. Good luck.